Star Wars 7x7 episode 2437. Today in another episode of What to Watch Now, we're going to talk about uh, a little rabbit hole that I slipped down and I think I've found the best iteration of what I want to share with you today. <laughs> and of course I will explain. Punch it. Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So basically <laughs> what happened was, as I was uploading videos for the YouTube version of the show on one of the days earlier this week, I stumbled across, you know, over on the side where YouTube makes its recommendations and whatnot, Star Wars bloopers of all things. And I was like, this is crazy. Crazy because this is actually something that I've wondered about and somehow I guess the YouTube algorithm finally <laughs> narrowed me down on this one. I have thought about it but never actually went and searched it. And so finally I picked one and then I just went <laughs> through a bunch of them. And so it turns out that as far as A New Hope goes in specific, so when I say Star Wars I mean the original Star Wars aka A New Hope. There are a number of videos on YouTube where they have bloopers, outtakes, and sort of behind the scenes stuff where, uh, you know, things maybe either didn't go right or they had some, you know, additional thing happen after a scene that worked was shot and that sort of thing. And there are a lot of videos that seem to have the same clips, the same setups, and some of them are longer than others and some of them have, I mean, it's almost exact from, you know, the repetition of them and some of them mix up the orders of the clips and that sort of thing. But I think I found one, it's about seven minutes long and I will link to it at the blog post for the show's episode at sw7x7.com. I'll also post it on social that I really think encapsulates everything that you know, was really awesome. And you know what, for the heck of it, you know, I might just post the longest one that there was, which was like 12 minutes or so. But even like the 12 minute one that I saw did not have some of the stuff that was in this seven minute one that I think is probably the best of the lot. For example, the seven minute one actually starts off with a clip of Alec Guinness being interviewed on set. And, you know, I think that, you know, the story that I have carried with me for many years is that Alec Guinness didn't necessarily understand what the heck was going on. He was, you know, kind of doing it for the money, not that he was phoning it in or anything like that, but that he was just like, yeah, this is just, you know, some crazy stuff and who knows what's going to happen with it. But on set, like his delight and the mischief in his eyes, like just the twinkle of his expression is just so wonderful and it was so exciting and unexpected and I think that's probably the key motivator for me in sharing this one with you. It was just so awesome to see. And I saw scenes of Tusken Raiders trying to jump on top of the Bantha and screwing up the scene, which was hysterical. And you get to see the trunk of the elephant that was underneath the Bantha. I'd never seen that before, so that was amazing. And then there's a blooper from the scene where Tarkin is trying to get Leia to tell him where the rebel base is and Peter Cushing flubs his lines. And so there's just something so amazing about that. There's a deleted scene. In fact, they actually, there are just some scenes that are shot that are not at all like what the actual final scene was in the movie. For example, when... Luke and Han and Chewie and 3PO and R2 are locked in the control room and Luke realizes that Princess Leia is on the station and is trying to get Han to, you know, get up and go rescue her. He you know, has a line where he says, but Han, she's really, really, really beautiful. And Harrison Ford says, yeah, well, so is life. Like, this is a line that I had never heard in any sort of, you know, previous version of the script or even seen actually performed and filmed. And then there's a scene where David Prowse in the Darth Vader suit is choking the rebel officer on the Tandy V4 at the beginning of the movie, right? And I don't know who is delivering the lines, but you hear somebody delivering Vader's lines and it is not James Earl Jones, let's just put it that way. And it's not dialogue 
from the finished product of the movie, and it's just, it sounds like it might as well be Rick Moranis, who of course played Dark Helmet in Spaceballs, <laughs> it might have been Rick Moranis, I swear the voice actually seemed like it could well have been, and then the moment of David Prowse releasing the guy, and you realize that the guy was just standing up on a giant box, basically, <laughs> through the magic of special effects. And there's more. There's screw-ups inside the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. There's rebel troopers tripping. There are stormtroopers slipping and sliding all over the detention area on the Death Star. There are screw-ups <laughs> in the Death Star battle. Honestly, it was just so much fun. And when I think about this podcast being a daily dose of Star Wars joy that that you know was the mission statement thereof. You know, I really felt like this was something that I could not pass up sharing with you because it really delivered a dose of joy to me, and I hope it will for you as well. So again, I will post links. They'll be in the notes for the show on your favorite podcast app, wherever you're catching this, on YouTube, in the description there. It'll be at the blog post for this show's episode at sw7x7.com. So all over the place, basically, I will share with you. And I would love to hear what you think about them too. So chime in wherever you see a post for this episode of Star Wars 7x7. And that is going to do it for today's episode of the show. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.